Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Ridwanullah family. Welcome to a new episode of the Ridwanullah Life Show. And I'm your host and life maximizer, Hussein Mahmoud, working to help you completely maximize your life in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Verily, all praise and thanks are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, owner, and sustainer, the one who's worthy of all worship without any associates or intermediaries. And may the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon the most esteemed leader and most honorable teacher, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family, his companions, and those who follow him until the day of judgment. Allahumma ameen. Um, inshallah, in today's, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about something that is the essence of who you are. It is a part of the essence of who you are um, and really is the governor of your life, essentially, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, and we're going to be talking about your Iman, Iman high experience. So experiencing the Iman high. And it is my belief that every human being should experience the Iman high and continue to experience the Iman high. Um, and there's a stigma around being high, right? Uh, most of us think about it from a drugs perspective. Um, and the reason why I'm connecting the two simply is because a lot of our youth, our Muslim youth, um, as I'm having you know, talks with, with a lot of the elders, um, you know, I myself not being too far removed away from the youth, um, have seen a lot of us dive into the world of drugs with trying to numb the pain or uh, to experience some pleasure in our lives amidst, you know, being in so much misery. And, you know, we like to reach for these uh, uh, drugs, uh, these, these negative drugs um, that are not permissible. Um, but we should go for these natural drugs, these natural highs. And after I've, I've experienced, uh, you know, Alhamdulillah, I just want to put out there for anybody who's wondering, <laughs> I've never been high, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, and not planning to, uh, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, nor high, nor drunk, or anything along those lines. And I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for protecting me from that uh, ugliness. Um, and I remember uh, one of the, uh, one of the uh, brothers in the, around the masjid uh, a little while back, he'll pull me over to the side and just bluntly ask me, like, have you ever gotten out? All right, uh, we're going to take a quick break for our sponsors of the Ridwanullah Life Maximization Show. Um, our first sponsor is Ridwanullah.com. Ridwanullah.com is an Islamic-based company, is an Islamic company based out of Salt Lake City, Utah serving globally, helping you completely maximize your finances and life in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, visit us at ridwanullah.com for more information, inshallah. Our secondary, our second sponsor is halaliciousvitamins.com. Halaliciousvitamins.com is an e-commerce company based out of Salt Lake City, Utah serving nationally around the United States of America currently, um, helping you get halal and vegan-based multivitamins um, that is sourced within the United States of America. Uh, they're offering a special discount for our viewers. Um, you can visit halaliciousvitamins.com for more information and to order your halal and vegan multivitamins today to help you meet and exceed your health and fitness goals, inshallah. And if you have a halal life maximizing offer and would like to sponsor the Ridwanullah Life Maximization Show, uh, email us at ridwanullahsolutions at gmail.com. And jazakumullah khair to you for allowing us to share with you our sponsors of the Ridwanullah Life Maximization Show. And a special thank you to our sponsors, Jazakumullahu Khair. And let's continue to uh, let's continue with the Radwanullah Life Maximization Show, inshallah. Hi. I'm looking at him like, what in the world is happening? 
Um, and I told him, no, I never got hired. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. But I did get high off of Iman. Alhamdulillah. Um, and I, that's what I wanted to talk about is your Iman high. Um, getting high off Iman, instead of getting high off of these illegal drugs and everything else that you can talk about, tasting the high of Iman, the sweetness of Iman. You know, Iman, uh, we have to understand, is basically your faith, your belief system. Um, and if it is correct, complete, and good, then you feel this Iman high, you feel this uh, amazing, amazing feeling all throughout your body, internally and externally. Um, and it, it's this amazing feeling, this amazing reality that disbelievers are robbed of, you know, people who don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, people who don't believe in the legislations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the boundaries, rules and regulations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. People who don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger are deprived of this Iman high. Um, and it, I, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it, uh, but I do know that when, you, when you're feeling it, uh, you feel as if nothing can go wrong in life. Even if you have a lot of things happening in your life that is wrong, it feels this, you just feel this amazing internal peace. You feel this amazing internal happiness. And sadly, a lot of us have been robbed of this reality. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we need to get back to the Iman high uh, and experience this amazing reality and amazing situation um, of, you know, having this belief system, having this, adopting this faith believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, you know, the, the, all of the problems that we're having with the youth and the elders and every, everybody in between and the problems that we're having with each other, at the end of the day, the root cause and the root problem is our faith, is our belief system. You know, do we believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exists? Do we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one, having no partners, um, you know, deserving all worship without any associates or intermediaries. So it is crucial for us. And when you, you know, uh, when you're thinking about life maximization, right? You're thinking about how can you maximize your life? You know, without your faith, without your deen, without your iman and that iman high, your life is of no use. It is like a car without the engine, right? A car that's just a shell of itself right? It doesn't have the substance. The substance of life is your Iman, your faith. So you as a youth, if your father or your mother or your parents are continuously pushing you to have the right faith, it is as if they're trying to give you the essence of life, the substance of life. And without the substance of life, there is no life. Right, and if you are deprived of that, you are granted a hard life, a, a miserable life. But with Iman, you're granted a simple life, a beautiful life, a life that is filled with contentment and happiness. Um, and Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, there was a new restaurant that was open here in Salt Lake City, Utah. And I went to go check it out. Um, and I love conversating with people, talking to people. Um, and there's a Marlin, a, a teacher that came from Minnesota who's visiting us here, who was visiting us here at this particular time, uh, visiting us in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, and he shared with me a lot of valuable lessons that I needed personally that was good for me spiritually and psychologically um, and eventually physically that really gave me a proper understanding of my deen. And I thank him immensely. Um, and his name is uh, Teacher Khalid. Um, I believe. Let me just double check, inshallah, that I'm not making a mistake. Yeah, so I'm Ismail Khalid. 
uh, is, is his name. And we were just sitting there, he was talking to me. And one of the stories that he told me of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and a fairly new companion really, really amazed me and made me think about the importance of Iman, um, how important that is in our lives and how we need to be able to uplift our spiritual realm as well as our psychological realm with this Iman, with this belief, the correct belief. And he was telling me, you know, when, when somebody has belief, they have that contentment, that happiness. But when somebody doesn't have belief, that Iman, that sweetness of faith, they are so burnt inside. They're just burning constantly. And they always need and want more without any end, right? And, you know, and he told me amongst many things that obviously, you know, the person without Iman, that he will always want more when you're given... Uh, one, just like the hadith says, you give them one mountain of gold, they want another, right? Until the the, sand, the, the, the the dirt fills that need, right? Which is death. So they never feel satisfied. They never feel content and happy until that dirt fills, their, uh, fills that, that void. But the real way to fill that void is with iman. And when that void is filled with iman, you feel that contentment, you feel that happiness, you feel that joy that you think finances is going to fill, but only faith is going to fill, which is Iman. And obviously, you really have to get your financial situation in a much better situation as well, but do it in a proper way, do it in a, in a reasonable way, bidhanillah ta'ala. And, and Brother Khalid, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, reward uh, and reward reward him and preserve him. Um, he told me about this uh, man, uh, a disbeliever who was visiting the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And when he visited the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he was a disbeliever, right? So when he came, he, he I, I I don't know if he asked for milk or he was given milk. He drank it, the first one. When he finished the first cup, he asked for another one. Finished it again. He asked for another one. Finished it again. Asked for another one. On the seventh cup, after he drank it is when he said, I've had enough, subhanAllah. So the same man in the morning, he took his shahada, he became a Muslim, subhanAllah rabbi al-a'la. And when he became a Muslim, obviously whether, I can't remember whether he asked for the milk or he was given milk. And when he, gave, when he, when he was given the milk, he drank it. And he was about to be offered another one because, you know, the reality or the expectation was that he just needs more. But after him, after he became Muslim, one was more than enough for him. Subhanallah. And, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned that the disbeliever eats through seven intestines. Right? He, he has to fill seven intestines in order to feel satisfied. And because of that disbelief and that missing of Iman and that way that they're just constantly hungry and constantly needing and wanting more, subhanAllah. And, and then he said, when he became a Muslim, he only had to drink once and, and had to fill one intestine because the other six intestine was filled with Iman, subhanAllah rabbi al -Ala. The greed that we feel, the greed that we face is because of lack of our Iman. Now, if you are a Muslim filled with Iman and taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you're satisfied with a little and you are content and happy and you're doing the best that you can within your means, um, that's where we should be. But we don't want to be in the situation of the disbelievers where nothing fills their hearts. Nothing fills their spirituality and psychology and soul, their mind. You know, they're always constantly wanting and needing more. So we have to be satisfied with Iman. We have to take advantage of it. And, you know, uh, you know, it, Maybe, maybe you just have to fill two, three intestines, not the seven. So you need to figure out how to regain the Iman of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and have that faith and have that belief that really is the foundation and framework of your life.
that gives you the sense of balance, the sense of stability, the sense of contentment, the sense of happiness. And don't seek it through other means. Don't look for it through other means. And obviously, I'm not saying that you shouldn't build your financial wealth, your financial reality. You shouldn't build all other aspects of your finances, but not at the cost of your Iman, not at the cost of your deen overall. To make sure that your spiritual and psychological parts of your life is taken care of to the best of your abilities. Because once your Iman is intact, your whole life is intact. Once your Iman is all out of whack, your whole life is out of whack. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant me abundant of iman and taqwa of him. And I ask you, and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you even more and e grant you that and even more. And I ask you to make dua for me that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us that iman, gives us that taqwa. Um, and you know, it's 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 really, really painful to see the situation that we find ourselves in where we're just so wanting of more more now what i will say is there is a level of enough right so you should do whatever it takes to make sure that you get to that enough level and if you're able to move on beyond that without really damaging your faith your iman then that's what you should do but if the the if the if 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 more is costing you your iman then you are becoming a loser and i'm talking to myself first and foremost um, and it's, 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 a, it's a tough predicament, but once you're experiencing the sweetness of Iman, the highness of Iman, and the, you know, it's just this beautiful situation where, you know, you're just enjoying life. You know, you're looking at how green the trees are, the grass is, how beautiful the air is, how amazing your life is, and so much more, you know, but it's, it's, it's a trial and tribulation that we're all going through. And, um, you know, we don't, we don't want the falsehood, obviously, but we don't want the half truth either. We want the complete truth that, you know, we should, we should continuously build our Iman and Taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, and, and, and I can sense how low my Iman is right now, honestly. Uh, but I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow me to rebuild my iman to at least sufficient level. As well as all other parts of my deen, my Islam, as well as my ihsan. Because the deen comes in three levels. The first level is Islam. You have to submit, right? And commit. And then the second level is your iman, your faith, your belief and that sweetness of it. And then the third, last but not least level is your ihsan. You know, your excellence. You, 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 your worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if you can see him. And if you cannot do that, then at the very least know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees you. And, and that will help you build your iman, uh, reconstruct your iman. You know, if you're feeling miserable, if you're not feeling happy or content, it's simply because that iman is missing. All right, uh, we're going to take a quick break for our sponsors of the Ridwanullah Life Maximization Show. Um, our first sponsor is Ridwanullah.com. Ridwanullah.com is an Islamic based company, is an Islamic company based out of Salt Lake City, Utah, serving globally, helping you completely maximize your finances and life in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, visit us at ridwanullah.com for more information, inshallah. Our secondary, our second sponsor is halaliciousvitamins.com. Halaliciousvitamins.com is an e-commerce company based out of Salt Lake City, Utah, serving nationally around the United States of America currently, um, helping you get halal and vegan-based multivitamins um, that is sourced within the United States of America. Uh, they're offering a special discount for our viewers. Um, you can visit halaliciousvitamins.com for more information and to order your halal and vegan multivitamins today to help you meet and exceed your health and fitness goals, inshallah. 
And if you have a halal life maximizing offer and would like to sponsor the Ridwanullah life maximization show, uh, email us at ridwanullahsolutions at gmail.com. And Jazakumullah khair to you for allowing us to share with you our sponsors of the Ridwanullah Life Maximization Show. And a special thank you to our sponsors. Jazakumullah khair. And let's continue to uh, let's continue with the Ridwanullah Life Maximization Show, inshaAllah. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us that iman, to allow us to build on from there and make the most out of these predicaments and these situations so that we can be the nillah ta'ala, uh, become amongst those individuals who have an, un an unshakable iman, you know, come hella high water, we make sure that we have our iman intact. You have iman, you have everything. You lose iman, you've lost everything. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you iman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you taqwa and allow us to, um, you know, regain our, ourselves. And for me, I really love and appreciate and value immensely the secular part of my life and knowledge, as well as the, sa sorry, I said the sacred, I should say, I said secular, but I meant sacred. The sacred part of my life, um, and that's the, the most important part but also I'm trying to connect the, the secular part of life, which is mainly like the financial aspect of things and everything else that you could imagine. But the sacred aspect of life really allows us to build our finances as well within the boundaries, rules and regulations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after our deen, after our iman. Um, so I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you more success, more contentment, more happiness, and allow us to return back to the straight path before we are returned back to the straight path. You know, I hope that we can return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before we are returned back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, you know, and it's, it's, a, it's a very, very tough situation to be in. Um, so, Jazakumullah uh, khair, you know, Jazakumullah khair to the Ridwanullah family who are always loyal subscribers, liking these videos, commenting and sharing. Um, and if you haven't been, please do so, um, so we can help each other grow, be the nilai ta'ala, learn and grow along with each other. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I hope that you continuously taste the sweetness of Iman and experience the high of Iman, of your Iman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you even more. Jazakumullah khair, Radwanullah family, for tuning in to a new episode of the Radwanullah show, uh, the Radwanullah life show. And I'm your host and life maximizer, Hussein Muhammad, checking out by saying, never ever give up on completely maximizing your life in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.